everyone and welcome back to So Aldo, your sewing tutorial destination. On today's episode of Dressmaking 101, I am going to show you how to easily make a skirt patterns for this skirt. Before we begin, if you haven't subscribed yet, this is the time to do it. And of course, likes and share this video if you could to help my channel grow. With that being said, let's get to pattern making. On the top edge of the paper, I'm going to draw a 1 inch border and on the side edge is going to be 2 inches. And then I am going to transfer the skirt pattern on the new sheet of paper. If you don't have this yet, I already have a tutorial on how to make a basic skirt pattern. I will link the tutorial in the description box below. And then I'm just going to measure the length of the skirt and I'm just going to transfer that on the side seam. Be sure that it is at a 45 degree angle. And I'm just going to extend this, turning it into a placket. And I am going to label the pattern. So I'm going to write on this pattern. This is going to be the skirt front and I need two pieces because we are going to have buttons on the front. Then I will add my seam allowances. So on the waist seam, I'm going to do one half inch and on the side seam is going to be 5 eighths of an inch. It's totally up to you how big you want the seam allowances to be. If you want to have extra fabric on the side seam, it's okay. So if you need to alter your skirt, it's going to be so much easier because you have that extra fabric. And on the hemline, I decided to add one inch. I'm going to cut out the pattern following the outside lines. If you are learning a lot from this Dressmaking 101 series, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so I can keep this series up and running. Here I am showing you how to use this skirt as a one-piece panel. You are just going to simply fold in the placket and then put this on fold and then you will have a one-piece of skirt front. It's time to make the back skirt pattern. I drew 1 inch on the top edge and 1 inch on the side edge. And then I'm basically going to do the same thing, transfer the back skirt pattern on the new sheet of paper. Pretty much just going to do the same thing like what I did on the front skirt pattern. If you notice, the back piece is a little longer than the front just because it will compensate for the curve of the back side. So that is okay. You can always adjust the length of the hemline once you are getting ready to finish the skirt. And I'm also going to label the skirt. This time I'm going to put fold right here because I will need one piece for the back panel. And then I'm going to add my seam allowances. On the waistline it's going to be one half inch and on the side seam it's going to be five eighths of an inch and then the hemline is one inch. If you haven't watched the tutorial on how I made the skirt block pattern, I'm going to have the link in the description box or in the info up here. So you can go ahead and watch that after you watch this video. Or actually, you should watch that first and then watch this video. Now I am going to make the patch pocket. It is super easy and you can make it as big as you want to so here is the measurement and here I am just adding the seam allowances because I already have a pattern for this I added dotted lines to remind me that this should be stay stitch so the pockets opening are not going to gape here I am making a waistband so basically I want the finished waistband to be one and a half inches wide so I am making the pattern three inches wide plus one inch seam allowance I didn't have enough paper so I didn't add that to the pattern but I'm just going to label it to remind me that to add seam allowances and on the side seam I also added one half inch Usually I don't make a 
waistband pattern just because it is super easy to make it once you already completed the skirt it's just so much easier to get the measurement of the actual skirt than drafting it on the paper so you will have much more accuracy so these are the skirt pattern for this beautiful skirt as you can see it was super easy to make once you already have the basic skirt pattern it is so much easier to draft a skirt pattern that fits you well so if you don't have this yet be sure to make one so you can make this skirt pattern that i showed you today don't forget to like this video to help my channel grow thank you and if you have any more questions about the topic today just pop them in the comments down below and i will try my best to answer your question as soon as i can thanks so much for watching again and i will see you in the next one bye